What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. In this video, we're gonna talk about Tesla Gigafactory 3 Shanghai and a rumor that they are, uh, have signed a long-term deal with the Chinese battery producer CATL to supply battery cells um, for this new Gigafactory in Shanghai. Um, this is from an exclusive Bloomberg report that came out a couple days ago that basically says Elon Musk went into Shanghai in August, met with the chairman, of cattle or CATL uh, for about 40 minutes. They closed this deal, signed a basically preliminary agreement for CATL to be the battery supplier for the Model 3 and potentially Model Y um, for Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai. We all know they've started construction on that zone two, um, which is gonna be where they actually build the batteries. So I'm assuming that's the part where CATL would be coming in in partnership. They're expecting to potentially sign a formal agreement by 2020. In the meantime, Tesla is gonna be using, before this gets built, Tesla is gonna be using batteries from Panasonic and LG and the other interesting tidbit about this article is they also know um, Tesla and their separate discussions are underway on a potential global supply contract. So a lot of fascinating stuff going on right here, right now um, in the midst of a lot of battery drama for Tesla. So I thought this was worth discussing on the channel because up until now, uh, Panasonic has essentially been the exclusive battery partner for Tesla. They have battery cell lines in Japan of the 18650 cells that are, that are going into the packs for the Model S and X. Um, then Panasonic recently part or more recently partnered with Tesla on the Gigafactory One has been building the 2170 cells on leased factory space in Nevada and pumping out these 2170 cells um, for the Model 3 and the Model Y in the future. Um, but now all these rumors have started, you know, tension between Tesla and Panasonic has been reported. Um, and it's my guess of what's going on right now is that Panasonic, there was, this is me reading in between the lines a little bit on a Wall Street Journal article. It said that Panasonic, after Tesla at profitability a couple quarters ago, basically asked to raise prices on the battery packs um, and this pissed off Elon Musk and I think it makes a lot of sense because if you're Tesla you're like wait we're buying more and more battery packs we should be seeing the cost go down not go up we're trying to drive down battery prices we're trying to improve margins you know always drive lower and lower and so I just think this was a tipping point in the Panasonic Tesla relationship and they said okay hold up we're going to stop expanding new lines of Gigafactory 1 with Panasonic because we don't like their pricing structure. And we need to prove that that Panasonic isn't doing anything special. Think about the game theory of this. If Tesla can say, okay, we're building a new factory, it could be you, Panasonic, but you want to raise prices. And we're going to prove to you that that 2170 cell you're building is commoditized and that CATL can deliver it at the price you want or LG Chem. And so now Tesla has essentially gone from just relying on Panasonic from these battery cells to diversifying its supply chain or appears to be in the process of doing so with CATL for its other Gigafactory. So I think this is a really smart strategic move for Tesla and really goes to show you where the value is in this technology. You know, it's not Panasonic that has the secret sauce, it's Tesla. And that's why Tesla can easily replace Panasonic, but Panasonic can't replace Tesla. And so I think there's a lot of interesting stuff going on and we haven't really seen the shoe drop because the other thing that we're all wondering is what about Tesla building its own battery cells? This is something I've been speculating about nonstop since the acquisition of Maxwell Technologies and High Bar Systems. I mean, all signs point to Tesla taking battery cell production in-house or at least supplementing them buying batteries with producing their own. And so um, I, I, we're of course going to get way more clarity on this at the Battery Investor Day, but now I've left scratching my head even more. Um, but I think the gist of this is Tesla needs all the batteries it can get. This Electrek article about the uh, CATL deal uh, that Bloomberg reported on says CATL reportedly has a current annual production capacity of 17.5 gigawatt hours, and they're planning a new factory with capacity of 24 gigawatt hours to come online as soon as next year. That's great. That's huge expansion, probably enough for a couple hundred thousand, maybe 500,000 Model 3s and Model Ys or a little less. But, you know, Tesla's going to take all of that and then they're going to want to keep growing. And so I think what we're seeing Tesla uh, do with their battery strategy is start to get a ton of different suppliers of these commoditized 2170 cells and use those for Model 3 and Y and for their maybe, you know, more advanced products that requires heavier duty, higher performance, more efficient batteries like the semi and the pickup truck. Maybe we'll see them, you know, build their own cells or use their own battery cells for those products. So I'm sort of left scratching my head about where, how this will all end up, but I thought this was a very interesting development to see Tesla move one step further towards securing a battery supply for their Gigafactory 3 um, and also one step further away from their relationship with Panasonic. Would love to know what you think in the comments below. Please leave all your speculation about Tesla's battery technology roadmap because this is something we're following super closely here on HyperChange. Uh, huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.